My family's been growing rhubarb pretty on the same farm since the 1880s, so we're getting on for 140 years. Started by my great granddad Robert, and then my granddad Bernard, my dad David, and then me. It's a proud family tradition. In fact, my dad's 79 and he still comes in and helps me out sometimes. We grow the rhubarb roots in the fields for two years, and then every root's loaded by hand one at a time, and unloaded by hand one at a time. That's the that way it's been done for, you know, since the year dot. Like, and it's just a tradition that's carried on. We're bringing the roots into the sheds and we're ticking them into thinking it's spring because we have the heat on, set about 55 degrees Fahrenheit and they start to grow looking for the light, using the energy they've saved up for two years in the fields. It's harvested by candlelight so there's no photosynthesis and therefore there's no chlorophyll so the sugar stays in the stick instead of going into the leaf, which is why the forced rhubarb is far more tender and sweeter than outdoor rhubarb. From this, this little place in Pudsey, our rhubarb goes all over, all over the country. We've been dealing with Wellex for 14, 15 years now. So without the chefs and, and people like Wellex, we wouldn't be here doing it. We're really proud of what we do here, which is why we've got his name all over the box.